Hi there. Well, my recording or my uploading might be spotty for a few days. I'm in an area where when there's rain or sometimes even the threat of it in the distance, my internet kind of doesn't work you know maybe 10 seconds out of every minute or something it's just really not worth it to try and upload anything or download so I had the upload that's uploading right now ready for you yesterday but it was stormy all day so I just couldn't get it up there and uh, that might be the case. Like I say, it's predicted rain for the next several days. So we'll see when I can get things uploaded. And if I can't, then I'll just be making them and upload a whole bunch when the sun shines again. And, you know, lest you think that's such a terrible thing to have to suffer with internet service like that, I get such a big discount on my service that it kind of even almost makes it worth it. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I have a, a written journal for you. Well, now, isn't this interesting? This wasn't really the one I thought I was going to read, but since it's the one that's here, we'll go with it. It's from 418 of this year, first of that day, and the Mayan day was Two Deer, or Healing Hand. It's called Map of Your Growth and Development, Strengths and Weaknesses, Containing Opposites. I feel like words are in there wanting to come out. What kind of words? Heck, I don't know. Let's find out together here as they flow through. How much of my thought are they and how much purely inspired? How can I know? I will say this. Often when going back and looking at what was written, I am surprised. If I knew these things, I wasn't aware of it. Being in heart is truly a way of tapping into that which is beyond the conscious mind. And that much I know. Now, some of you may have wondered why in the last journal, and remember this was written 418, I was wondering if there was real worth here or if I was just uh, full of crap. <laughs> Though I don't often entertain such musings, I'm open, and I'm pretty sure I know the origin of that wondering. Some will laugh, many will understand, so I'll share. It's because there's someone locally who is interested in me as a person, as a woman. While I may, from the outside, look like I am that, I don't really feel like it. What do I feel like? Well, more of a spirit, a soul, than real flesh. And I act like that, too. I don't stay anchored in the form all that much. It would be so much easier if I could just brush this guy off, not take him seriously. But I can't. He's someone I've known most of my life, but not kept in contact with. A suitor from my teen years. A really nice guy. Decent, gentle, and kind. Not at all pushy, or he wouldn't have a chance. He gives me no handle to grab on and say, no, thanks, but no thanks. His vibe is really pleasant. Now, why should that be a problem? Why should I want to brush him or anyone off? Come on, guys. You know I'm a hermit, right? 
<laughs> I'm not very well socialized, in other words. I don't play games well enough. I refuse. I go my own way. I found contentment in my own company. I don't feel any need. It's simple that way, don't you see? Be in heart and get the whole vibe of what's here. Tune in. <laughs> I'm basically scared shitless. <laughs> Can you feel it? It's good for a laugh anyway, even for me. I kid you not. I don't take myself all that seriously anymore. Life's more fun this way. Still, it feels awkward. It feels strange. There are many ways to grow and develop in life. Many lines of development are possible. No one takes them all. We pick and choose, mostly before we are born. That's when we have the most say and the most options over what sort of life, growth, and development we're after. What's most important to us at any one time. So, in life, you will find social geniuses that are intellectual morons. Well, not quite, but you know what I mean. You will find intellectual geniuses that are social morons. There are those whose skills are in diplomacy, or in mathematics, or in feelings, in loving and caring and giving of self. There are many roads to take toward balance and transcendence. No one takes all of them in any one lifetime. Humans don't live that long at this time. You find people like me whose skills are not physical. You'll also find musicians, woodcarvers, machinists, engineers whose physical skills are amazing. Well, I suppose the engineers are more mental than physical, a lot of them. But you get the point, I'm sure. Various routes, talents, possibilities. What are your skills? I'm going to step out here just for a second and say, you know, you're not just what you are in any one lifetime. If you were to add up all the various lifetimes you had and all the paths you're taking in all of them, you would be more complete. But meanwhile, back to our awareness in just this one lifetime. Okay, beyond what your skills or talents are, there's a really important question to ask. It's not taught in schools, and it would be great if it was. It's this. What makes you really happy? <laughs> what rings your chimes? This is perhaps the most important question to ask. This one, above all the others, will guide you into your divine plan. It's a heart question. Where is your bliss? People in head have difficulty with that. Unfortunately, <clears throat> our world has been taken over by money, by the banksters and their ilk. We are all slaves to make money just to live and have it taken from us. Then some become addicted to it. Forgetting real happiness, they chase dollars, euros, lira, or pounds. Money, all of it, is an abuse of real freedom, of real life. It's so indirect. But let's leave off of that for now. Back to the question, what makes you joyful, fulfilled when you do it, when you pursue it? Set aside all logic, all mind work on this one, for that will tangle you up in the money thing, most likely. I'm not talking about being happy because you live in a fine house, drive a fine car, eat fine foods, and such things. Those are nothings to the soul. Do you see? You don't take those with you. This other you take along with on your journey. It affects your soul and others' souls too. Did you know that? Be in heart for this. Now, 
realize that your contentment, your joy flame, that spreads. That's quite contagious. Yeah, it's all fractal, you know. Or just think in terms of quantum entanglement or a hologram. Each part affects the whole intensely and immediately. It doesn't matter what mind thinks of this. Ignore mind. What does it know of soul things anyway? The areas of mind's concern and domain are largely unimportant to soul, to inner being. Have you realized this? Knowledge is great, but you don't descend on it. What you do with it counts, but that's soul. That's inner being. That's heart and reality. The knowledge itself, it's just a tool. What will you do with it? How will you use it? How will you let it influence you? What are your internal priorities? It's good to spend some time with these things, just pondering. Man, know thyself. Famous words. And I'll step out again and say, as an example, look at those who are in charge of the petrochemical, the petroleum, the oil industry. And look at the way when they find a great inventor of a car that runs on air or water or hydrogen or whatever, they find ways to buy up the plans and keep them hidden. And so you see the destruction of the soul in pursuit of money. It's a very sad thing. Okay, back to the written journal. You could say that everything here on the earth, in the galaxy, in the cosmos, was put here to help answer that question. What are your internal priorities? It's an important one. Know thyself. Well, it's not phrased as a question, but clearly it's full of questions. Do you know yourself? Can you define it? Can we even answer what we are, much less who? For those who have not spent any time in self-inquiry, let me suggest that these questions lead far deeper places than you may have gone before. You'll be amazed. If you think you know what you are, know who you are, then chances are very good you're a fool <laughs> or just very superficial. That's a bottomless infinity that opens up there, friend. Man, know thyself. Indeed. That's what we're about down here, walking around on the earth, getting to know self. <laughs> right. There are those that say that evil has a very good purpose here to help us answer that question. Perhaps to show us what we are not. That helps us isolate what we are, what we are not. That's important to know, too. Now, as awakening, or maybe some awakened souls out there, let's do this. Focus now. This is intense. Let's be aware that no matter what we are looking at, what we designate or recognize to be real, we're dealing with its opposite too, and at the same time. We're transcendent beings, my friends. We can do this. Let's begin to be ever aware of the two sides of every coin. That's real. This takes and keeps us in paradox land. Are you ready for that? Can you handle it? It blows the mind out of the water. You're in deeper water now. You're in heart. Just let 
awareness expand to contain all opposites. Don't polarize. Leave mind and duality behind. Contain both sides of any and everything. You can do this. You do do this within. Get in touch with that. So, are you a genius? Then you're also a fool. Can't be helped. It just is what it is. Are you brilliant in some way? Then there's some other equally important way you know nothing, next to nothing. Am I here in 3D, a seeming person walking around? Well, I'm also in the heart of every atom everywhere. Am I walking about in this current lifetime? Yet I'm also walking, standing, crawling, running around in all my other lifetimes right now. Time is like that. It's not the limit that we've been fed. It's so much freer. Everything is. Things are not locked down as we've been taught. And we are not locked down either once we let go of such beliefs. We are quite free. We are transcendent. Are you ready for that? Spread your wings. No doubt you've been doing that already or you wouldn't be here with these crazy journals and such things offered by others. Besides, we all fly already when we're asleep. We leave the body behind. We go adventuring. Know thyself. What a big lesson that is. In how many lifetimes are we searching for the answers? Quite a few, my friends. We're the old souls, most of us here walking the earth, who are ready to pull it all together. That's what we're doing. Final lessons, final exams, that's what we're in the midst of. More than that, though, many of us have left off with such things long ago. We're here to be of service. And it's really that simple. Due to the required forgetfulness of this human tour of duty thing, we may have forgotten the specifics, but we know we're that overall. We can feel it. That can't be taken away from us. It may not be what we are, but it's what we're about here. Beings of service. Pretty simple. Are you aware that there are those among us who are already ascended? Some very long ago. They didn't need to come back to 3D to incarnate, but they did to be part of this party to render service. There are beings from other star systems as well who are incarnate in human bodies here. <laughs> that may be you, my friend. One day you may be quite surprised to find where you last came from. <laughs> Just be open to such things. It's enjoyable. More than the personal aspect of that, where you're from personally, there's our oneness. I am that. We can all say this. Your gifts are mine. Mine are yours. Our brethren, no matter where from or what form they're used to inhabiting. I am that as well. <coughs> Excuse me. How else could things be in their oneness? Have you pondered that? That six or eight foot praying mantis from Cassiopeia or wherever, <laughs> that is you in there. Are you ready for that? Can you let yourself expand out into it? You're the sun. You're the grass blade. You're the tree and the bird and the nest and the eggs and the chicks in there. All of that is you. You're the earth too. You can find it inside the direct experience of that if you look. It's not a mental thing. That's where most people get lost, I guess. Though they don't realize it, they're still locked in the brain, still identified as that. 
whereas this is heart sensing, not mental knowing or exploration at all. Okay, so it throws you off balance for a bit. That can't be helped, my friend. You didn't learn to walk the first time you tried either, now did you? Well, what do you expect here? It's not rocket science, but it's not nothing either. It just takes a bit of getting used to, of letting go. That's what brings up the fear, isn't it? The letting go of the familiar that's required to take this journey. Any such journey. Well, that's okay too. It's all okay. You're getting to know you. That's the main business you're about here in this 3D skin suit you wear. So you're doing fine just with this, even if you're uncomfortable, like I am with this man's interest in my person. That makes me very uncomfortable. So you see, it's rather funny overall that I can travel a cosmos, but walking in my neighborhood with a guy by my side, well, that makes me feel awkward. Come on, can you see the humor in that? Well, I surely can, and I laugh, I really do, at myself. It's all a lark, my friends. We just forgot to have fun with it, but now, now we're remembering. I know I am. So follow your bliss and you won't go far wrong, go off track. That bliss is your signal. It says you're right on. Now, notice that the word on is just the word no spelled backwards. Remember, contain the opposites. They are always present. As we transcend 3D, we begin to sensitize to them. Before, we weren't even aware that they existed or that they could be harmonized, could both be true and at once. Now we know that, though they make no sense to mind at all, they are closer to truth than just having one of them is. So, in what avenues or areas have you developed this time? Are you aware of the great list of talents and abilities you came into this life with? Do you realize you also own all the talents and abilities you gain in other lifetimes? Those are yours too. Those are you too. Make room to contain this. Expand my narrow room, someone said. I'm all for that. Our room is the cosmos and beyond. Please know there is a beyond. Blessings and light to you and awakening. Let's all wake up. And remember to put back the fun in these things. Got back off for that. Can't be too closely identified. That makes it too serious. Enjoy. To me, I have a, a written journal for you. Well, now, isn't this interesting? This wasn't really the one I thought I was going to read, but since it's the one that's here, we'll go with it. It's from 418 of this year. The first of that day, and the Mayan day was too dear or healing hand. It's called Map of Your Growth and Development, Strengths and Weaknesses Containing Opposites. I feel like words are in there wanting to come out. What kind of words? Heck, I don't know. Let's find out together here as they flow through. How much of my thought are they and how much purely inspired? How can I know? I will say this. Often when going back and looking at what was written, I am surprised. If I knew these things, I wasn't aware of it. 
being in hard is truly a way of tapping into that which is beyond the conscious mind. And that much I know. Now, some of you may have wondered why in the last journal, and remember this was written 418, I was wondering if there was real worth here or if I was just uh, full of crap. <laughs> Though I don't often entertain such musings, I'm open, and I'm pretty sure I know the origin of that wondering. Some will laugh, many will understand, so I'll share. It's because there's someone locally who is interested in me as a person, as a woman. While I may, from the outside, look like I am that, I don't really feel like it. What do I feel like? Well, more of a spirit, a soul, than real flesh. And I act like that, too. Hi there. Well, my recording or my uploading might be spotty for a few days. I'm in an area where when there's rain or sometimes even the threat of it in the distance, my internet kind of doesn't work, you know, maybe 10 seconds out of every minute or something. It's just really not worth it to try and upload anything or download. So I had the upload that's uploading right now ready for you yesterday but it was stormy all day so I just couldn't get it up there and uh, that might be the case like I say it's predicted rain for the next several days so we'll see when I can get things uploaded and if I can't then I'll just be making them and upload a whole bunch when the sun shines again and you know lest you think that's such a terrible thing to have to suffer with internet service like that I get such a big discount on my service that it kinda even almost makes it worth it so uh, <clears throat> excuse.